Nick Gubbins and Adam Voges continued Middlesex's fight back on the second day of their LV County Championship match with Somerset in Taunton, although both fell just short of their hundreds. The home team started the day perfectly, Sam Robson nicking Lewis Gregory's second ball of the second morning to Marcus Truscothic. Middlesex were now on 10 for 1 in response to their host 408, a total which should have been so much larger after Truscothic and James Hildreth had helped it get to 377 for 3 at one point. It was now a former Somerset man in the form of Nick Compton who enjoyed his five years with his adopted county to try to continue the impressive fight back. Compton and Gubbins were able to add 50 runs for the second wicket. Compton will have been bitterly disappointed to fall with 28 runs to his name, nicking off to Gregory at 60 for two, and even more disappointed as he obviously believed that the ball had missed the bat completely. What made it worse for Compton was that he now had to see what he missed out on as Voges came in to join young Gubbins, a 21-year-old trying to make a name for himself in county cricket. And he will do with shots like this. A sublime drive off Peter Trigo, which took Gubbins to just the fourth 50 of his career. He needed 88 balls for this one, getting there quickly in the end, as he took 11 runs off the over, taking his boundary tally to nine. He and Voges ensured that they batted out the rest of the morning. As T had approached on day one, Middlesex was set to concede a very large total indeed. But while the first two sessions of this match had belonged to Somerset, the second two were won by the visitors, who went to the break on 123 for two. The afternoon session was shortened by some rain moving into the West Country, and it was another to be enjoyed by Middlesex. Gubbin showed off his talents with this six off Gregory, which took him into the 70s. Often criticised for their batting, Middlesex did a great job to bat their way to a draw against Knotts in round one, and these two were making life very difficult for the home attack here as well. Voges was the star performer with a bat in the Sheffield Shield in the winter and his time with Middlesex has been shortened with a call-up to the Ashes squad. He will be missed as this single took him to his second 50 in three innings for his new county. By the time the rain arrived, Gubbins had moved into the 90s, the second time he'd done that against this opposition. His career best of 95 was made against Somerset in Uxbridge last year. He came out after the break needing 10 for a maiden first class ton but found Jamie Overton in a boisterous mood, the batsman ending up on the deck. Whether that affected him any, only he will know but he then nicked the same fired up bowler to Truscothic and had to be on his way for 92. His disappointment was there for all to see. Gubbins had shared in a 139 run partnership with Voges though, the Middlesex skipper moving along with ease towards his own three figure score. Now age 35, the Western Australian is at the peak of his powers and it seemed a matter of when rather than if he would register the 25th ton of his career. He needed just two more when he played a fault shot and was adjudged LBW to Gregory who was again the pick of the home attack. Voges was on his way with a score on 246 for four. So Middlesex still had plenty of work ahead of them, and even more so when Gregory literally grabbed his fourth wicket of the day to remove Neil Dexter for seven. Middlesex were in danger of being left behind, but as the shadows lengthened, James Franklin showed his value as an all-rounder by adding a patient 41 runs for the sixth wicket with John Simpson. It was so important for the visitors to get as close to Somerset's first innings total as possible. But two wickets in three balls and pegged them back again. On 13, Simpson was bowled by Overton with a second new ball and Ollie Rayner followed in the same fashion straight away. Overton ended the day bowling with real venom and a lot of skill and those two late wickets have left Middlesex on 306 for seven going into day three. That puts them 102 runs behind but they still have Franklin at the crease on 41.